What's very important to me is that students make their own things, that they are intrinsically motivated. The projects they do are their projects, they are the owner. And the first week we just we're happy if you can uh, draw a circle. So we assume that you know nothing about programming. So after four weeks, a student without any programming experience made a very creative program. Bob and his burger. What strikes you so much about it? It shows uh, typical elements that uh, create students put in their assignments. So it has uh, some elements of a game. So even though Bear Bob has lots of fruit floating around him, he only has eyes for the burger. Now we have a fat Bob. So there's the game element, there's the aesthetically appealing element, there's the storytelling. In the very first module, I think we emphasize a lot that uh, you should design your programs. That's also in part because we have very uh, free and open projects. So at the end of module one, there's a final project where the students uh, have to pick a piece of art uh, on campus and uh, animate it. So uh, you will get things like a torrent of Adrenal Low, so the, the torrent can go, come out of the water, can go back into the water, and uh, if you let time pass, you can see the sun coming up slowly. Especially sometimes I recognize uh, things that people animated for the end, uh, end assignment. If they go out in the world and they look around and see something and say, okay, I can use my new skills for this. I see fish. Oh, fish, there should be an object. Okay, in my program. So th then I'm really quite happy if they go out in the world and they start thinking object-oriented, because that's the part of the course. I, I like to play Lego to build things and uh, make things and I think this, this playing with programming with technology is a key factor to really become good in that. And I hope to, to, yeah, to bring that, that playful, explorative aspect to, to programming. Programming for us is, is simply material to express creative ideas. So in Create, the emphasis is on using technology to build something for the user. So uh, a Create Graduate should be able to work with ill-defined projects. So there is no example solution that they work towards. Uh, they have to come up with not just the solution, but also the concept. And what do you actually want to solve? One way of training students in creative programming solutions is the sports day at the end of module one. How did you come up with this idea? A couple of years ago, we thought, oh, the students, they, they, they program too little. And uh, we thought about, okay, what can we do? Another exam, another assignment, another final project. Yeah, but that's just the same as, as before. So, so then after some thinking, and I'm not sure exactly how it came about, we thought we should develop something which is a bit more interactive, uh, true to create, and it was a bit inspired by theater sports, where you, you get uh, two people in a relationship and you have to improvise. So in sports day, uh, students get at the morning, uh, they draw a lot with uh, a subject, an object and an activity. And they have about uh, four hours to develop a concept, present the concept, implement the concept. And then at the end, there's a Eurovision style uh, final. So the ducks are such a thing in programming. Uh, for the sports day this year, we had as prizes uh, different versions of ducks. So the golden duck for the best program, Delft's blau duck for best design, and uh, sparkly duck for the most creative solution. Uh, unfortunately, the ducks are still in my office because, because of COVID, uh, I didn't see the students afterwards. So the next time I see them, they will all get the duck. We know all that nicely graphically represented data uh, are already better understandable and the physicalization goes one step further. So if the data are in a physical form, you can see it in 3D, you can perhaps touch it or do something with it, then it's even better to understand for our physical brain. Typically we think about uh, visualizing data on a screen in pie charts or uh, word clouds or whatever is modern. Of course, in Create, uh, we also want people to visualize things with physical objects. So uh, how would you visualize water consumption? In hybrid world, students make interactive installations on data physicalization. Every year there's a, another topic. There is something like uh, sports and culture, music. Uh, w one of my favorites was in one of the first years that I gave this course. They made a huge installation uh, with a lot of LED lights and a neural network. There are derivatives of that or later versions still in the Smart XP, in the Design Lab, and even in the TechMed Center, there's something that, that looks a bit like that. So that had some... That's really cool. 
cool. some some impact. So where sports was a topic, people made an installation where you could compare yourself to famous sportsmen. I also learned again a lot of these uh, projects. I didn't know that so often drugs and money is mentioned in, uh, in music. One pile was made of, of pills and every time uh, drugs were mentioned, a pill fell down on that pile. And the second one was the uh, same with money. In this last project, they can really show off what they have learned.